Hello and welcome to Crash Landing. Um, this is not a speedplay episode, as you can see. This is episode zero, or like, welcome to the mod, what is this? Um, I haven't played it anything yet. I have just logged in and goofed around and uh, died a little and yeah, just for checking it out how it looks. So I will try to play this for, for a while. Um, the, as I said, this is episode zero. I haven't decided if, if I want to do this as a as a let's play series. It won't be a speed play, that's for sure. So, uh, but we can get, come back to that a little later. Um, I just want to get started right now. Check it out, get the feel. I'm not used to doing this these kinds of series or episodes or videos or whatever. So uh, let's um, let's just get started. So to start, and I, as I should probably mention that I never pre played Agrarian Skies. I have been quite interested in the HQM with the questing book and yeah like the the whole thing with doing quests and having more of an adventure thing agrarian skies didn't really appeal to me because it was more it was a building building and it was it wasn't different enough so this could be it or it might not be so let's just get the going so and stop babbling to start, use, to start your quest book, use HQM quest. Okay, let's do that. Okay, so I have two books, that's okay. And I know we have two rooms here. And I know there's a cool needle gun here. That I want to use now, just place in a box. I have some ammo I'll take later and reading and that's, uh, yeah, that's good. And on this side, I know I have the crescent hammer, and we have some some stuff. But okay, just place that so I get it out of the inventory. And I can probably remove one of the books. Okay, thanks for that, and basic survival, let's start. So gathering supplies, I think, well that's a mess, grab what you can from the wreck and watch out for the detached engine. The core has been breached and the fuel is leaking, yeah, <laughs> we can hear that over here, but it's hot, I will go inside again. Uh, okay. Tax of this type doesn't have to be handed in, having them in one's inventory is enough. However, you must have all the items at once. Uh, okay, I shouldn't divide them in the steps. Also, the camel pack goes on your chest. Camel packs are filled with water bottles in the crafting grid. You can use an empty bottle to empty one if you wish. Okay. So, transposers, I did see them over here. And reward, thank you. Camel pack and water bottle. And now I know that I can place the camel pack and I can place water around it to fill it. And we should be fine for, for a little while. I guess I should put it on as well. Okay, let's continue with the questing before I get started. So, the very basics. As part of my functions, I can replicate needed items if provided with the raw materials. My capacity is limited at this point, so I can't provide much. Sift some of the dust to get bone meal with that one dust and a bottle of water. I can provide the essential surviving material. And I was thinking about this before. If there are repeatable quests, I don't think there are any repeatable quests. So, and I think oops that was close uh, the reason for doing this is 
because when I tried this before for just a few minutes the uh, the side of the ship got blasted away by a creeper and I guess I guess that the creeper was lit on fire by this so this is just for precaution I made it like one into one night and then I didn't want to continue because yeah I want to experience it with you guys and I know there are mobs coming at night quite a lot of them actually so I will just make this pit to trap them Perhaps I should do it. Yeah, this could, could be a good idea. Like this, so in that case they won't come near, or should they? Let me think about that, because I want to like keep them in my pit, but if it's too wide, perhaps they won't come over. So let's have it on the sides like this. They can pathfind the way and I can punch them. Yeah, that sounds yeah, that's a good plan. Really good plan. Uh, okay. Sift, 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 sift. Put the dust in the sieve and just keep that right button and keep going. And yep, yeah, there's no bone meal yet. I guess the trick is to get automation on these things later on, so you just keep getting all the material. To be honest, I haven't really checked all uh, all the mods that are in the pack. Uh, dust, meal and bottle. Okay. Claim reward. So now I have dirt and I have not much else. Let's get started. Sapping. Desperate times. Yeah, there's the easy route. And there's the hard route. And I will try their hard route. I will probably die. And die a horrible death. But I want to challenge for now. And... I'd rather die and start all over in easy mode later if I need to or uh, I haven't decided. So claim reward. Now we have saplings. That's really great. And we we'll see next drinking mud. Water is scarce in a pinch you can get water from dirt one bottle and one dirt and there you go it isn't very healthy but if you don't have a choice but I only have one dirt but I will get a new dirt so of course I can do this dirt and empty that gives me 30 water, water bottle and the dirt will be disappeared will be consumed so a lot later, perhaps. Mm, okay. Claim reward. Thank you. So now we got purified. Dirty water is useful in a pinch. But for long term survival, you need to wait to purify it. Fire will work nicely. Drop the dirty water bottle into a furnace. Apply heat. Get clean water. Science. Um, so, but I don't have a furnace. I just don't have it yet. And it's getting dark already. It is, really. Then I should grab just a little more dust. So I have dust for the night. Oh yeah, right. Perhaps I should place this one. 
and sapling and bone meal. At least I get some wood to play with during the night. I was I guess I should have been a lot lot quicker on this. But I kept on talking about everything and nothing and but okay. I just I just wanna replant. Ooh, they are coming, they are coming. Uh oh. I got a sapling. That's enough for now. <laughs> hmm. And this was me. Hey, you weren't supposed to jump over. Oh, yeah. That's a big one. <laughs> I should have dug uh, deeper. <laughs> I should have made the hole deeper. These are giant st stuff. Okay, I'll turn the volume down. I think that's uh, too high, too loud. Okay, kind of annoying. I was too slow, but I still have the sapling and everything. But all the saplings out there. They are lost forever and ever. Nice shot. Okay. Can I continue with any more quests? Purified. Yeah, right. I have a water bottle. I guess this quest is for purifying. If I should purify the... Yeah. Hmm. Because if I submit... I had the water bowl in my... I should have purified the... The dirty water. Okay. But I got it. So it's completed, at least. I hope it sounds like it's still really loud. We'll turn it up back up later. So, next quest. What can we do? Important. Yeah, okay. This. Let me read this. If you die and lose the map, simply generate a new world. It will create a fresh new landing map. <laughs> fresh new crash landing map for you. Yeah, but that, I knew I had done that already, as I said. I have been in, I have died, but I haven't really done anything. I read this for the backstory. You lost your data tablet in the crash that contains, among other things, all your personal logs. However, you see something glinting in the sun near the shuttle. Hmm. I didn't see that. I should check it out. But the tablet is, is quite peckish, 600 meters away, it's quite far away, so I think it will be, it will take some time before we, <laughs> we will get there. Okay, but we can do sapping the saplings. So a way to get water. If you drop saplings in a liquid transposer, you will get a little bit of water. Tenth of bucket each, so ten saplings means one bucket. Remember, you can power the transposers with the flux capacitors in your emergency supply chest. Make sure you don't use up all your saplings. Uh, I don't know if water works the same as it normally does so if I do this once I, and there's some water outside in yeah somewhere in here then perhaps I have only need 10 saplings to get unlimited supply of water I don't know I haven't tried that yet so we'll come to that later I guess I will since this is the 
a survival mod based around water, perhaps that's disabled. You must use the QDS to hand in this task. Click select task, place the QDS, right click with the quest, book, place in QDS, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll place the transposer and I'll set the, oops, the fill and the yellow is out on the right side, side so I can yeah, that will that will lead the water into the QDS. I heard a bomb, or a not a bomb. Whoa! Okay, that's perhaps st stupid. Because now the creepers are angry and the skeletons shoot and... <laughs> I don't want to look outside anymore until I hear, hear all the stuff burning in the sun. I don't like the sound of that. Can't it be day soon? But what's next? Tools of the trade, yeah. To survive out here, you need some basic tools, a weapon and some protection from attack. You can upgrade to metal hammers later. The tools and bronze and obsidian. Nice rewards, so stone hammer and bone crook. Then I will need a lot more stuff. Good thing I brought some dust with me. I like the text down at the at the right corner, bottom right. But <laughs> the text when I get more than one thing, they are on top of each other, so it's kind of hard to see most of the time. There's like one bow meal that's really brilliant. I hope I can get two more stone. That will give me the hammer, I think. And one lost. I didn't get two stones. Damn it. But I need some food and... Hmm. We'll need that, and four sticks and two stones make a hammer, but I only have one hammer. Yeah, this one. So I need two. Is it day soon? Yeah, we're getting there. Oh, oh well, no, no, okay, the dirt is still there, but it won't be fun, I wonder if I will... Okay, my mob trap isn't really working that well. It doesn't seem so. Perhaps I should pick up the gun. 12 rounds. Okay. And away with some stuff. Yeah, that sound. That's a good sound. I like that. I will save one sapling here in case things get ugly. Oh, there's a creeper right outside. <laughs> I got a bad feeling about this. 